Hi everyone, we have another kind of swap entry. So this comes from Robin. She said this is her first time responding to a swap and that it piqued her interest, but she realized she didn't need to build her stash, but she needed to smash her stash. So she decided to make one and just send it to me for happy mail. That's so, so sweet of you. Thank you so much. And then she says that the paper she used is from Michael's Hot Buy Pad Candy Retro, and it's from several years ago. So let's jump on in and see what all is here. Oh my gosh, she says there's black corrugated from a local craft store. Somebody sent some in the other day, and I couldn't remember what that paper was called. So, oh, corrugated now I remember. <laughs> so we have just like a little hair tie, and then she has this beautiful little angel bead charm right there it's super tiny it's maybe an inch just under an inch super cute and then we have a little cover right here oh i like that black paper in the background it has like texture to it kind of like a snake skin and this was so smart you guys that put like ribbon or some kind of trim right here on the side oh why didn't i think of that all that i thought i was putting a little dangle but i like covering that white spine so much more and then we have some little trim, sequence trim. That's cute. Ooh, tickets. I love tickets. See, there's that corrugated paper. Now I can remember what it's called. Little hearts. Got some little birdies. Some butterflies. Some of that corrugated paper in there. Oh, I like the little car. We have some scallop die cuts. Ooh, some tiny little flowers. How cute is that? Some little flags. Some more little flags. Some circles. Ooh, some snowflakes. I like that in the like blue green. I think these are sand dollars up there. So we got some sand dollars, some more of that corrugated paper. Some leaves. Ooh, I like this one. It's like a border of butterflies. That's really cute. I like that. Put that away later. These are really good to do like a base for a card. I like these. Oh, this is an interesting little star. So like there's the center of it. And then here. So there's the die cut. And then that's the center of her die cut right there. Oh, I like this. Kind of reminds me of, like, Vegas. So, like, there's signs. They're neon signs. Ooh. This shimmer paper. That's really pretty. A couple little, like, label die cuts. Ooh, make some little tiny bows. Some little flowers. And there's different sizes, so you can build it up. Some more, like, little die cuts. Oh, that's cute. She cut out the paper. And then, oh, this heart is a pocket. That is so cute. I need to remember that. Looks like we just have, like, some cut aparts. And then, I like that part. Just, um, it's like a huge tag. It's like the whole pocket right there. And there's a couple of those in there. Then there's the back of her book. I like it. I like the whole like retro vibe. And a lot of these would make really great card bases. Thank you so much for making me a book. I super, super appreciate it. And stay tuned because I got another swap coming up next. Our next swap comes from my girl Gina over in Hawaii. Okay, when I first opened this, I was like, what the heck is going on? There's like a bunch of books in here, right? So luckily her card was right here on top. And here is the beautiful little card she made for me. And then on the inside, she explains that her and her daughter did a craft day. So this entry is from her daughter and then this one is her. So I'm like, okay, that makes so much more sense. I'm like, oh my gosh, you did a lot of work to do like two swaps. But now I get it. She had a whole little craft day. How fun is that to sit together and just craft together? So let me pull everything out and we will see what they sent. Oh my gosh, just looking at their covers. They knocked it out of the park already. How pretty are their covers? So yes, this one is 
from Gina. And she also goes by Gigi. So let's open her book up first. She's joined, I think, all of my swaps, possibly. I'm pretty sure. Um, let's see. Oh, that's pretty. This would be really pretty to hang up in a window. Then down at the bottom, we have some little beads and a little bow. And we have a little bow up here on top. Oh, a little thank you charm. And I like how you did the little ribbon hanging off right here. Then I love stamps. So many little layering pieces. Then look, she put tiny little eyelets in here to close her book. Super cute. And then here's her inside. Oh my gosh, there is a lot more than just two die cuts. There's a doily piece in the background. There's like two of those. A couple banners, a couple butterflies, and a couple bows. Oh, that's so cute. To put a little plant seeds in there. I didn't even think about that. That is so cute. And I actually don't have any lavender in my yard. I have rosemary. So that will be a nice addition. Oh, a recipe card. I didn't think about that. That's a good idea. Oh, I don't know where this um, heart's from, but I've seen other people send it before too. And it's like, um, like a scalloped heart, but it's kind of got like a basket weave to the center. See, that's really pretty. I don't know where that one came from. And we have some die cuts. Oh, I just used that paper on my projects. On both of these, actually. And we have some ephemera pieces. Oh, these are nice. So these are embossed. Oh, I love the bug. Where's that from? I need it. I need it in my life. These are cool. So they're like die cut, but embossed. And then on this beautiful like foil shimmer paper. Oh my gosh, I love that bug though. That bug is everything right there. Put those to the side. And then a whole lot of die cuts down there. Oh my gosh, more die cuts. A ton, way more than the two minimum requirement. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. So it goes from large, medium, and then small on the bling. Oh, little patches. So I've been collecting patches and I bought a jean jacket and I just need to go somewhere to have them sewn on. So I'm definitely going to add that to my jean jacket. So it's actually a Disney theme. I should clarify. It's all like Disney patches, but I would definitely add the little anchor to it because we do go on a ton of Disney cruises. I have a Dollar Tree die cut. That was such a good idea to put the die cut in there. Oh, are these little envelopes? and cards yes they are like little three by three cards and envelopes oh my gosh that's gonna be so fun you can take what she sent in this book and then make those little cards little thank yous some little cut aparts some ephemera pieces easter right there on top Ooh, pretty flowers i think these are the prima flowers right and then these are um i think paper studios some more pretty flowers oh my gosh I loved that you used Maggie home paper for your background has some sequins oh a thin washi with all the little feathers on there got a little paper oh this is a nice 3d butterfly right there super thick we got some die cuts or some cut apart some stickers over here Ooh, some big old 3D puffy stickers. And then in the background, there's some little cactus stickers. Got some little baggies. Some pretty, pretty little flowers over here and die cuts. Oh, wow. A whole ton of die cuts. Oh, look. And then she included the little hearts. So in this die right here, so she included all those little windows of hearts. So that's in there. And then a bunch of the little bows. Yes, envelopes. Love me some envelopes. Some more beautiful butterflies. Some more puffy stickers. And then we have some florals and some leaves. Then we have some stamps. Oh my gosh. You did a whole little chunky monkey here. I love it. And I love this ribbon. That goes perfect with Maggie Holmes. 
think I have something similar, but it, mine's in blue. I need to get a black and white one. Oh, this would work good for Beetlejuice and for um, Nightmare Before Christmas. Oh, yeah, I definitely need to get me some of that. And then this is from her lovely daughter, Tara. And this one looks like it's all in Maggie Holmes as well. Super pretty. I like the little bit of tool just around the, like, a little belly band. Let me see if I can slide this off. Okay, just, there we go. So right here we got a big old bow, and then she did a little dangle as well. That's pretty, I like that. Oh, is this from Walmart? Oh, I forgot about those. I used to buy those all the time. Now I need to go back to Walmart. Thanks for the reminder. <laughs> then we have some like little pearls, her little doily, a button, some chipboard. Really, really pretty. Ooh, we got a bunch of star sequins, some cut aparts. Oh, cute. I don't have that bunny sequence. So we have some Easter sequins, some gold stars, which these already have the hole in them. So if you just put a jump ring through there, it'll work perfect for a little bee dingle or a chunky charm. Oh my gosh, look. It's like the Disney castle. It's like Cinderella's castle, but like mini, like maybe like an inch big. I don't know where that's from, but that is amazing. Then over here we have some scallop circles. That she layered up already. Ooh, pineapple. That totally goes for Hawaii. Then we have some circles and some scallop circles, all in different sizes. There's more over here. There's like a ton in there. And uh, I think these are stickers over here. Let me see. Yep, we got little stickers in this pretty little bag. I like the size of that bag. And we have some little word die cuts. Ooh, blue flowers, blue flowers. Love my blue flowers. That's pretty. And then there's like a little bling in the center. I don't know if you added that or if that came like that, but that's a good idea. Add a little bling to it. Oh, look at the peacock. Oh, so pretty. I always wanted a big old peacock like on my thigh tattooed. I might do it one day. I don't know. And then let's see. We have some ephemera pieces. Oh my gosh, a ton of bags. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. At least like ten bags in there. Wow, thank you so much for sharing so much. Oh, a little like quail bird over here. <gasps> wow. Some Puffy Maggie home stickers. I don't have those. Oh, pretty. Thank you so much. I want to do a Maggie home swap, so it's going to come very in handy. Little ticket stamps, love that. Oh, that was a good idea to send some little baggies like that. What are these organza bags, right? Something like that. That's a good idea. I didn't think about that. Oh, vellum. Did you die cut these or did you buy this? So there's like black, green, a blue, and then a darker blue. Anybody know where I could buy colored vellum? I totally would buy that. Some doilies. Ooh, a bunch of tags, but this top one is embossed. Oh, wow, there is a ton of stickers in here. I mean, a ton. Like, hmm, probably like another, like, ten sheets or something of stickers. There's a bunch in there. I love this, like, mustard flower. So pretty. Has some tags, some little words. We got hello and thank you. This, I have never seen this before. Oh, this is pretty. So the flowers are already on the ribbon, and then their blue flowers, my favorite. Oh my gosh, where is this from? I don't know where this is from, but I need more. <laughs> I need it in every color. That is so cool. Did you make that though, maybe? Did you like stitch that on or glue that onto ribbon? Oh, we could totally do that. I know, um... I think Walmart sells these ribbon flowers, and then we could just glue it onto the ribbon. That's genius. Love it. Got some little arrows. Ooh, mason jars. Love mason jars. Then you can build your box over here. Then we have, like, hello and, like, little speech bubbles. What are these? Are these more speech bubbles? Oh, it's a trailer. Oh, that's so cute. 
So you have like your little road sign and then it's like the little trailer for the back of your truck. That's super cute. Ooh, look at that beautiful peacock. So we have like some floral, um, like little wreaths. Some beautiful gold leaf ribbon. Oh, wow. These just, um, oh, these are envelopes. Wow. Again, a ton of envelopes in there. Thank you. Thank you so much. And we have some stickers. So I think there's two packs in there. Yep, there's two packs in there. So we got butterflies on the top and then cactus in the back. Ooh, a whole sheet of bling. Who doesn't need more bling? I always need more bling. <gasps> oh, cute. She has washi samples. Oh, I love that. The little bows and the little ballerina. So pretty. Aw, I'm so glad that you guys had a little craft day and in my swamp thank you guys so much thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys are having a wonderful and beautiful day and we'll see you later bye guys